Hello everybody, welcome in this tutorial drawing with circles in Touch Designer. So my name is uh, Smooth is Fast and uh, I'll be uh, showing you a quick technique that I use for a lot of my animations. So if we move up into uh, my Instagram page, I use this technique a lot um, to animate uh, objects going in a round motion. So um, specifically, I want to show you this one. And uh, this is what I want us to try to recreate today. And we will actually not be recreating it, but we'll be understanding how it works. So uh, full disclosure, this animation was inspired by uh, Clément Mazière on his Instagram page. You can see it here. It looks super sharp. Great. So uh, let's go into Touch Designer. So here you can see I have a couple of animation that I already uh, prepared. And uh, you can see all that. It's just very simple um, spiral animation, and it always it, it looks often uh, what you can see like a plot artwork. So um, we'll be looking into that. Um, but this is a very simple technique, and I just want you to show. I want it to show it to you because uh, for me it enabled me to do a lot of like cool things, and it's actually very very easy. So let's jump into it and create an LFO. Okay, let's recall it sin and x because it's going to be on the x-axis and let's make a copy of it call it cos and it's going to be on the y-axis okay uh, the only difference between a sinus and a cosinus if you don't remember your um, your high school uh, trigonometry is that the cosinus is offset by uh, 0.25 on its phase so that's uh, the only difference between those two curves let's also add a keyboard in okay uh, so we can just reset easily our LFOs because we will be resetting them quite a bit okay reset here okay so um, something interesting that I've learned uh, watching one of the body up tutorials was um, that when a sinus or a cosinus let's say, let's say the cosinus is at one the sinus is at zero so when the sin the cosinus is at one he's getting it ready to turn around to go back in the other direction and at the same moment the sinus is at zero and he's like max velocity going to the one so uh, this pull and tug makes uh, an object go round and you'll you understand really quickly uh, what i mean by that so let's merge them right away in a map okay and let's uh, connect this into a null and this null we will be calling it null coordinates or chord super okay let's bring in a circle in top world and let's give it right away the right resolution you want to give it okay um, the great thing about the designer and it being a procedural it's that can create a whole network and having your source um, untouched so you can replace your circle by a square a triangle an asset very easily so we will not be um, modifying our um, our circle because it's the beginning of our network and we'll only doing our modification on the transform so you're probably wondering yeah well it's not hard to make a circle go in a round motion it's obvi obviously not hard you can rotate it but we don't want to rotate it we want it to follow the path of a circle so for th that's why we're using sin and cos and uh, we're going to plug it in into the translate um, translate of the top okay okay so you kind of you can kind of see like it's going uh, in the corners like this because actually right now our amplitude is too big and uh, the circle is actually turning around our canvas so uh, let's fix this by uh, creating a constant chop okay let's recall it var beautiful and with alt n let's call a null and create variable so i call it my uh, constant var for variable and variable send okay great so i want to you have some uh, frequency to control my LFOs. I want to have some amplitude for my LFOs too. And I want to have a shape scale for my shape. So let's go first uh, with our uh, shape scale. Let's put everything in one here. Okay, beautiful. 
shape scale and here boom okay remember i'm not touching this guy let's put it in red because he's, he's an untouchable and uh, our shape scale let's put it smaller so we don't see anything right now because once again the circle is turning around our container so that's why we plugged it in um in a math so we're going to rescale it from here so right now we're going from zero to one if we just go from zero to point three now we see it great so that's basically like this is like most of the tutorial uh, the rest we'll be doing is just adding on and doing a little more fun stuff but this is from this is the beginning of like a lot of things you can do now okay uh, i want to just put my frequency and my amplitude in my lfos there we go amplitude here there we have it okay wonderful um let's have our shape smaller so maybe like 0.2 even like 0.15 Wonderful. Okay. So uh, let's feedback the whole thing. So I can imagine that you guys know about feedback and uh, how it works. You probably have been doing some other tutorials. Uh, so I connect it in an over. Okay. I feedback the over. I put the over in the feedback and boom. We have, oh, uh, we have uh, this uh, circle now. This is great. Okay. Uh, but it's kind of uninteresting though what do we want we, I, what i want to create right now i want to create kind of an arc like an, a head running around his tail okay so for this let's bring down the opacity okay great so this is so um something what, what's going on right now and if we put it a little lower uh maybe a little higher too so you, and let's 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 go less fast uh, on the circle so let's bring down the frequency okay so you see you're, you're we're keeping a kind of like trail which is good which could be looking good but it's marking like in the um the canvas and it's not erasing itself so to fix this put your source and all uh, everything should follow in 32 bits and you should have more each pixel should have more information to fully erase itself and i don't know if you see the difference but right now it, it just worked like right now i have always a clean slate uh, each time i feed back so i want to go back and put my right values which were eight five okay so this is good but that's not what i want but i want to put a threshold and the threshold will clamp um the values of your pixels and only displays display the um, the values who are in this in in the clamp okay good this is kind of what we're looking for and i know because i took a note that i want 0 0.01 and i guess i don't i want more than that this yes perfect this is what i want i want this kind of a head chasing a tail okay so this is getting already pretty fun and uh, once again this is just like the beginning so i'm just showing a couple of tricks and you from there you should take it and like run with it and uh, create some uh, some cool uh, animations okay so from there uh, let's color it and then we'll do a little we'll, we'll try to go a bit more crazy but first i want to color it and i'll use a ramp okay and i want it in circular no my bad radial yay okay and let's move everything down downstream let's connect a null here yes and let's call it bg okay all right we're we're getting somewhere um let's multiply our ramp okay S and let's have the fixed layer input one and if any of you guys can tell me why the fixed layer is by default input to, I would love to know that. Because it feels always for me that it'd be way more natural to have the input one as a fixed layer. I'm always changing that. But what you're going to do? Okay. So um, we want this uh, this ramp to, um, no, not this, to be moving around with our circle. So the head, let's say, is always black. So for this, let's take another another LFO. Great. 
let's call it um, ramp. Okay, and it's gonna be for a ramp rotator and let's select ramp. So now um, following the same frequency and amplitude, we're now uh, ramping from zero to one. And just for this, just to be clean, I'll rename this ramp, uh, ramp rotate. Okay, beautiful. Alt N to create a node. Cause I, I kind of don't want to mix it right, ni right there just for like, um, so it, to keep to keep it visual vi visual for you guys, beautiful. So now I want to plug this in my phase. Oh, is it my phase or my period? Yes. No, it wasn't my period. Okay. Here. Okay. Cool. We're not. It's not working. In the w like it's not doing the good the right thing because it's turning in the opposite way. So maybe we just come here and we multiply it by minus one. All right, so it's always in the good position and it's turning at a good speed. Let's just go and um, offset the phase so the head is black. And now we kind of have it. So let's, this is kind of good. Let's have some, uh, let's color this just a little. Um, okay, why not? Uh, maybe something a, a little, yeah like this and this guy too okay whatever i don't really mind like this is once again this is your guy you guys job to do something uh, pretty and i'll just make it a little smaller okay so this is looking pretty fun already uh and now the, the last thing i want to do with you guys is this is a circle and it's all uh, fun and good but i would like to make shapes with it and this is where all the magic happened and this is where like a little math can be helpful and once again this is kind of going fast all right so there's a relationship obviously between the frequency and uh, the feedbacking so that's why my 0 0.1 wasn't working earlier so let's uh, let's go down by hand whoa and uh, if you don't have enough space let's maybe let's see if it's not gonna catch up too much hopefully no oh okay it's maintaining okay so right now uh, our amplitude is always the same and that's why our, our circle is going in a circle uh, following a circle path but let's let's play with that so let's have a replace job and we're gonna be uh, replacing our amplitude so let's bring another LFO. So it's all about LFOs today. And this LFO, let's keep it in sin. Let's connect it to a null for now. Let's make it go a little less fast. And let's and let's rename it obviously amplitude. So this he's gonna be called amplitude. And he's gonna go and replace the channel with the name amplitude here. So let's look what and uh, I forgot I'm gonna add a keyboard in here I'm gonna add a two okay and this two is gonna enable me to reset my feedback okay so now I can just like erase everything okay so we're, we're getting something right now and obviously um, our coloring is not working anymore because we created for it to go in a circle circular pattern so let's disconnected right now okay so this is not exactly what we want and this is where like the fun starts to happen and this is still a little thick for me okay so now we're starting to see th something so frequency let's put it at one put some notes amplitude 2.62 Okay, that seems a little crazy. And now let's connect the math and let's rescale this whole thing from minus one to 0 0.8 and 0.2. And let's reset the whole thing. Okay, so now we're kind of like cr 
creating a little flower <laughs> um, so already we're getting there and we're, we're starting to do something fun and um, you, you, you can tamper with all those uh, parameters like if I put the amplitude higher okay interesting and what happened if uh, in my LF in my math I use only positive values so the absolute values of everything so it doesn't go from minus one to one no it goes from one to zero to zero to one okay let's see uh, how uh, how is dealing our, c our coloring yeah so th obviously you see that uh, the relationship we established is not working anymore so let's go check out what is going on here so it's oh yeah so let's keep him in the yeah we don't want that we don't want him to have uh, control on th the amplitude so let's maintain it like this and now now it's working so before our amplitude was like um affecting our ramp and we're that's not what we want though <laughs> this is a very cute flower we're having here okay great and from there i guess like this is i mean from here you can do anything you want and uh, i'd love to see what you guys can do from that and it's like kind of a really simple tutorial just to make uh just to show you guys what you could do with a, a little trigonometry and like some simple stuff you know great okay so i guess that's pretty much it that was uh i feel like this is an easy tutorial and the goal is just to like uh once again like enable you guys to do some fun animations and just get going with a uh, touch designer uh then you can put an edge i love the edge top and uh if you do anything great or not even great even if you do exactly the same tutorial i would love to see uh your renders uh, so send it over at uh, Smooth is Fast and uh, I'll be looking at it and uh, sharing it and liking it and the whole uh, shenanigan. So uh, that was super fun. I hope you like it and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial. All right. See you next time.